So next is question number 10.15. It says write the mechanism of the following reaction and there is a reaction given to us here. Now that reaction is, uh, is not given in terms of um, molecule, the structure of a molecule, we need to expand it. So what is this NBUBR? BU stands for butyl group and bromide. So here N meaning you have a straight long chain. So it just says N butyl bromide. So it is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. So butyl meaning four carbon chain with a BR here. Since the BR position is not mentioned to us, it's, it just says N butyl. If it says isobutyl and all of that, then the position of the BR will change. Here it says N butyl, so it's just a long chain with a BR here. Plus KCN, this is going to give N butyl cyanide. So same thing here CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 with a CN. And on the arrow, we have ETOH. ETOH is nothing but ethyl alcohol with water. Alright, so by this reaction here, you can easily identify that it is a nucleophilic, it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Because wherever you have Br, Cn is just being replaced there. So it is a very simple nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now the question clearly says write the mechanism for it. So when you write the mechanism, one thing that we need to identify is because it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction, you have to identify the nucleophile in this reaction. So here if you see, I have KCN. Alright, now because I have KCN, this will give split as K plus and CN minus ion. Alright, now what will happen? Our nucleophile is this. CN minus is the nucleophile. So that is going to replace Br. So if I am writing the structure for this with a CH2 and a Br, for this I am going to have my nucleophile here. The nucleophile is going to attack the carbon attached to it. Now when that happens, Br will automatically leave. Because Br is more electronegative. So when I draw the structure, this is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 and CN. Now, where will this Br that is leaving go? Br will get a negative charge after it leaves. So it's going to pick up K plus and form KBr as the byproduct. So this is the mechanism. Since the, the question clearly says to write the mechanism, you just have to write the mechanism for this reaction.